Well, if you're anything like me, uh, maybe you've been out and about before and uh, you've seen someone walk by and as soon as that person walks by, uh, everybody around you starts to talk and take pictures and uh, they start to uh, talk about who this person is. And sometimes you look at that person and you go, I don't know who that person is. And you ask the people around you, who is that person? They tell you it's some movie star or it, it's a professional uh, sports player or whatever it is. But there's always this uh, excitement and this mysterious thing that comes over when somebody famous walks by and some people are left asking who is that person like I am a lot of times because uh, usually it's an actor or an actress or something like that and I have no clue who they are uh, but people ask who is this person uh, when they see all the rest of the crowd get so excited and uh, yesterday we celebrated Palm Sunday Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey uh, being celebrated for being the king people cutting off palm branches and laying their cloaks down so he doesn't have to walk on the dirt the donkey doesn't have to walk on the dirt and despite all of this going on all this excitement and all this uh, joy and uh, hosanna shouting matthew 21 says verse 10 when he entered jerusalem the whole city was stirred up saying who is this and the crowd said this is the prophet jesus from nazareth of galilee the people ask, who is this? The city uh, is so uh, confused about why people are celebrating this person coming in because they're curious. They want to know who this person that's coming in on a donkey is because everybody else is so excited about it. And sometimes I think that's what we need to do for Jesus in our own lives. Because uh, especially right now, it's a great opportunity to take people that are curious about Jesus and point them in the direction of who Jesus really is. I challenged some of our youth group students last night uh, to go out and write some messages of encouragement, some Bible verses of encouragement, uh, maybe just something like Jesus loves you on their sidewalk. So as people go by on their walks, uh, they see some encouraging words down on the ground. And maybe it starts to ask some questions in their mind. They're curious, why would someone write this message? Uh, who is Jesus? Why are these people so confident and so happy that they can write these messages of encouragement on the pavement, on the sidewalk, on the street, whatever it is? So I want to challenge you today, make someone else curious about who Jesus is. Make them ask the question, who is this Jesus and how does this Jesus provide what this person has? Wouldn't it be great if the people around you, the people that are walking or by your house, around in your neighborhood, start to become curious about who Jesus is, even if it's just something as simple as writing some chalk messages on the sidewalk.